Okay, um, all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, the bonus to the elders of GMS. Salutations to all the Akim out there that's uh, pushing this truth, man. And the name of this lesson is uh, called No Excuses, No More Excuses, man. All right? But you got brothers within these camps, you know, of Great Millstone, even within my camp, GMS Indiana. Brothers have tons of excuses, man. You know, instead of just manning up and being honest with themselves and just say I'm bullshitting and I need to do better all right but that was that's all you need to do man and when you say you're gonna do better you just do better man all right don't say don't say don't say you're gonna do better and don't do it man you know you either you're gonna serve the Lord or just go back into the world man you know and it's just as simple as that man you know, stop finding excuses, hey, because people make time for the shit they want to make time for, man, all right? And really, every brother that's in Great Mill, or anybody that call themselves being the truth, man, all right? This is where most, most of your time should go, man, is towards pushing this truth, all right, pushing this gospel, man, all right? So with that, I'm going to start off with Sirach, um, 32 and 17. It says... An evil man would not be reproved, but find a, an excuse according to his will, all right? And that's what you see what's going on. Brothers are making a, are making um, excuses according to their will, man, all right? Instead of them admitting that they're effing around and bullshitting off in this present world that uh, where we're in, man, they're making excuses on why they can't do videos, all right? Why they're why they're not uh um uh, uh doing certain things to 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 uh, uh further the gospel and uh, help the brothers out, man. All right, which our whole like the scripture says, the whole duty of man is to is, is to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, all that other shit you got going on comes second to this, man. Whether it's your mother, whether it's your father, whether it's your job, all right, whether it's your kids. Hell, I don't care if your damn leg about to fall off, man. All right? It's still second to you. How about you? If your leg falling off, yeah, you call a brother and you be like, hey, my leg falling off. I got to go to the hospital. All right? And it's just as simple as that, man. Not not looking for, for some type of a, 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 a bailout to get your ass out, 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 out the kitchen, man. All right? Because it's getting hot, hot in the kitchen on your ass. Now, our brothers is zoomed in on you, man. All right, you you man up about it, and you do better, man. All right, and it's just as simple as that, man. Give me one second. All right. <sighs> Which brothers should know this already, man. So lucky I can give me one second. Uh This is Philippians. Uh, 3 and 14. You know what? I'll start from... Uh, start from 7. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Hamashiach. All right? But the things that was in your past, man, are you supposed to, you're not supposed to be trying to gain that stuff back after you done got rid of this shit, man, all right? All right, you, you gave it up for you, how about Shimei Abishai, man? It says, yea, doubtless, I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, all right? And that's, that's what you're supposed to do, man. You count all that crap, uh, L, man, it's an L, man, all right? You've been taking L's all your life 
and you're gonna continue to take a L's, man. And it's truth, man. But you taking those L's, you're suffering for righteousness' sakes, man. All right. You, you, those are hey, those are the L's you want to take, man. All right. Eventually, we're gonna get the the we're gonna get the W, man. All right. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna win the the, the championship. But right now, you gotta take L's, man. Hey, it's just like in the in, in the in the um in the NBA, right? When they start drafting all those young young players, man. Basically, what uh we call it uh, rebuilding. All right, they take L's at first, man. To eventually they 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 gain experience and what and they win, man. All right, but but the ultimate win is the what? We're in the kingdom of heaven, man. But right now, hell, whatever you hey. You're going to take L's, man, and it's, and it's just that, man, all right? Stop complaining about your day-to-day, -day, which Jake going to complain, man. We, we we complain every day. But stop using that for for uh, an excuse to not, not do the work or, or put up videos, man, or do anything that's helped further in the gospel, man, all right? Says Jay Dallas, I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Mashiach Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. I do count them but dung, that I may win Hamashiach. See? So you're gonna get the win. But the ultimate W is what? Going into the kingdom of heaven, man. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna catch hell. Yeah, things hey, ain't going to be fair. But guess what, man? Deal with it. Suck it up like a man. Gird up your lions like a man. And and continue to do the work. Put out put out videos, man. Be brotherly. Endure. Your job is just not to show up at the at, at, at camp, man. All right? What else are you doing through your day-to-day -day life, man? Your brothers just show up for camp. That's it. Brother ain't put up a, a video in five months. You know? It says, and be found in him having having my own righteousness, which is of the law. But that which is through the faith of Hamashiach, the righteousness which is of the most high by faith. It says that I that I may know him in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings. Alright, and this is what this is. This is the fellowship of of his sufferings, man. This, 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 what we got. This truth is the fellowship of his sufferings, man. All right. It says, being made conformable unto his death. All right. And that's what we, we, we and that's what we basically did, man. All right. You basically what? We were, the scriptures say what? We die daily, man. Okay. Killing off that old man. Suffering, being conformable to his death, man. If any, and if by any means I may obtain unto the resurrection of the dead, it says, Not as though I have already obtained, neither were already perfect, but I follow after it, that I may apprehend that for which which also I am apprehended of of my Shiakawa, which means what you're supposed to keep pushing forward, man. All right. Keep, 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 hey man, we, we, we see the kingdom is near us, man, but you, it's near, but you got to keep grabbing for it, man. Keep, 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 uh, uh striving for it, man. All right. Cause first, hey, the, 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 the kingdom of heaven starts and starts with this knowledge, man, in your mind. All right. Before we actually get it on a physical level, man. Okay. It says, but I count all things, not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth those things which are before. And you know what? That's why Paul made another saying. He said, no man that war entangleth himself with the things of this world. And that's what you see. And that's what basically is going on with different brothers, man. They're getting caught up in this world, man. And like, like I was telling um, um, my uh, leader, I was like, man, it's easy to get caught up in this shit, man. 
Because you always got bills. You always, you always worried about something, man. So it's easily for you to get caught up in this world, man. And get caught up with the affairs of this world, man. All right? Because everything is such a, a freaking distraction, man. Hell, even from to your damn cell phone, man. That's a damn distraction. All right? It says, but brethren, hold on, brother, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling. And this is the high calling, man. Which going on the highways and byways is the main thing. But are you building brothers up, man? Are you are you uh, uh taking time out with uh, uh, uh different brothers, man? Being being actually a, a, a real leader, man. Walking the walk, talking the talk, man. Not just a weekend warrior, man. It says, "Let us therefore, as many be as perfect, be thus minded, and if, and and, and if in anything ye be otherwise, well, said, if in anything, all right." Look up that word real quick. Whoever, see, whoever or whatever, man. Okay. So whatever it is, man. Hell, if you if you're flunking all the tests, man. Looking at you crazy. Because we do test brothers in the camp, man. Then I'm quite like, hey, maybe this brother ain't studying. But you can tell, the, you know what I'm saying, the type of test I, I give. I can tell if a brother study. You know? But nevertheless, we're in two we have already obtained. Let us walk by the same rule and let us mind. No, Salak, let me jump back up to 15. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, Yahweh shall reveal even this unto you. And that's what's going on, man. All right? You think the camp leaders is not paying attention to different brothers? All right? Or the apostles is not, not, not looking? All right? Because the Lord got, hey, the Lord got it. Hey, he got his eyes out, man. All right, looking, seeing which brothers are being diligent, what brothers are being brotherly, you know. All right, we got a couple more scriptures. Uh, wrote down. Uh, this is Luke. I got a couple scriptures in Luke. Luke. Um. Uh, Luke 14 and 16. Then he said unto me, I'm going to start from 15. All right. Luke 14 and 15. And when one of them that sat at the meat with him heard these things, he said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of heaven. And he said unto him, A certain man made a great supper and, and bade many. And sent his servants to the supper time to say to them that were bidding, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with with with, with one consent began begin to make excuses. Alright? They begin to make excuses. Let's look up that word to make excuses. Alright. Hmm. It says to act alongside, to back, to have near one. He's saying that step out to refuse, to decline, to shun, to avoid. That's what you. That's what you do when you make excuses, man. To shun, to avoid, refuse, decline, to avert displeasure by by entry, to beg pardon. Then it says what? To crave and in, indulgence. So. Brothers is 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 making ex, is making um um uh excuses to basically fit fit their lifestyle, man, or or uh, uh whatever pleasure that they have, man. It says to excuse of one excusing himself for not accepting a wedding invitation to a 
wedding invitation to a, and what's the feast man this right here this is the feast all right and we eating man and you making all these excuses that's what you're doing you basically you trying to lead the table man you don't got no damn manners man you he done offered you all this goodly food man all right know how jake like to eat and jake jake don't want to eat and yahweh shy is feeding you not just anybody yahweh shy that's the king that that that, that made the supper what well, well, we're saying this could say a certain man made a great set so certain man is yahweh shy man you even tell me you ain't gonna eat at the table with yahweh shy you gonna make an excuse the first said unto him i've bought a piece of ground i must needs to go and see it i pray thee have me excused and another said i've bought five yoke of oxen and i go to prove them i pray thee have me excused and that's the affairs of this world man and another said i've married a wife and therefore i cannot come which affairs of this world man so that a servant came and showed his lord these things then the master of the house being angry and said to his servant see let's see and the lord get angry with you man you don't want the lord angry with you man go out quickly into the streets and the lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt the blind and the lord and the servant said lord it is done as thou hast commanded and yet there is room all right and guess what man we, hey the harvest is not passed and we are not yet saved just because you in the camp don't mean you're gonna be saved man it don't mean the lord ain't gonna spew your ass out because you in the camp or you've been in seven eight years and you don't want to do no videos you don't want you don't you don't want to get down with the get down all right you ain't exempt None of us are ex are, 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 uh, uh, are uh, exempt, man. The Lord can kick you out, man. You find yourself out there by yourself, man. Back in the world. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the lanes and the hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. So in the door, And the Lord ain't done filling his house, man. For I say unto you that none of those men that were bidden shall taste of my supper all right and that's plain which means what you ain't gonna receive salvation man all right so don't so don't so don't think that you that you got a for, for sure spot in this thing all right there's always somebody gunning for your spot man all right like, like it's written in the book of Revelation. It said what? Let no man steal thy crown, man. All right. Um, Second Timothy 4 and 5. But watch thou in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thou ministry. All right. The word make full proof. Bring to full, make full. To cause the thing to be shown. Fulfill the ministry in every part. In every part. Not just on the weekends, man. In every part. To carry through the end, accomplish the things that have been accomplished. To fill with with any thought of conviction. Alright. To make certain, to persuade, convince, to be persuaded. Persuaded, fully convinced, assured. Ooh, man. Fully convinced. So if you're making full proof of your ministry, you're fully convinced. You you are persuaded that this is the truth, man. This mean you ain't effing around, man. You're going to be out there in the snow, the rain. And you're going to stop making excuses. And man up to your shit. All right? It says, For I am now ready to be offered in the time of my departure. I have fought a, a good fight. I have finished my... And that's what you want to do, man. You want to finish, man. 
that word finish. I have finished. To perform, to execute, complete. That sums it up. Jump down to be, uh. That's basically saying the same thing. Alright. I have finished my course. Just got that word course real quick. Oh, man. Right, so if you worry about your worry about your job, when you go down into the Strongs, it says figuratively, what? Your career. All right? Your career. All right? And, um, what's that? In Hebrews, it speaks about your, your uh, career. All right? Hold on. Give me one second. Right. The other word for uh, for career is what? Professional. Your your uh, your uh, profession. Basically, what your job. It says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith, which is what this truth, without wavering. That's what some of you brothers are doing you're wavering man you're wavering all right some of you brothers are, are doubting this thing man right uh without wavering it means what we're not inclining uh firm unmoved not leaning firm without wavering for he it for he is faithful that promise all right, so the Lord is faithful who, who made these promises to us, man. Okay. Hold on, I think this one was it, though. Uh, Hebrews. It says, uh, let me see, Hebrews 4 and 14. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens. Yahweh Shai, the son of Yahweh, let us hold fast our profession, all right? So you're supposed to be holding fast your profession, man, all right? Your career, all right? Go deep into that word. That's my acknowledge. Uh, okay, didn't really give me a lot what I was hoping for alright cause the word profession means to what Pro, uh, 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 profess which means to prophesy alright so you supposed to hold fast to that man constantly teaching man ok give me one second says uh back to timothy for i am now ready to be offered and the time of my departure is at hand i have fought the good fight i have finished my course i have kept the faith henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the lord the righteous judge shall give me at the end shall give me at that day and not to me only, but to all them that love his appearing. All right. So it's just not. Hey, all those brothers, we all striving for the uh, same, the same reward, man. All right. We're all running the same race, man. All right. We're all on the same team. I'm talking about the brothers in Great Millstone. We're all going to receive uh, a crown, man. Even though, hey, perfect example when you watch the NBA, right? You always got the the main players, all right. You got you got you got Scottie Pippen, you got Michael Jordan, all right. But then you got the role players that they not receive rings to. Then there's Rodman. He couldn't. He wasn't a great scorer, but he knew his role, man. 
And that's another thing. You brothers, you gotta execute your role in this thing, man. The scriptures talks about you got prophets, you got teachers, you got brothers with, with different spiritual gifts. But back, back to what I was saying. Dennis Rodman, hey, he was a great rerounder, re but we all knew Jordan and Scotty Pimpin was, was was basically the hey, they were the man. All right. Then you had Tony Kukos. You had uh Steve Kerr. He hey, he was waiting there for that spot up three, man, to knock it down. To execute it. And he executed he executed it perfectly, man. He knew, hey, BJ Armstrong and Steve Kerr knew they was there. That's to shoot that three for MJ, man. They wasn't trying to do nothing out, out the box. Another thing, brothers gotta learn their role, man. And stop making excuses not to play your damn role, man. You on the injured reserve and you ain't even injured. The hell's wrong with some of you brothers, man? Some of you, hey, man. Some of you, hey, Lord's gonna, hey, he gonna start dealing, man. One second. Uh, Luke. Uh, which one was that? One second. Uh, Luke uh, 19. Nineteen and twelve. These damn tablets and shit get on my nerves, man. On the Esau shit works right, but hey, it's working right now. Uh, Luke nineteen and twelve, and he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive himself a kingdom, and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and he said unto them occupy till I come hey and them ten servants represents the brothers in these camps man alright you're supposed to occupy till he come okay not just on the weekends you got them weekend warriors it says occupy to anything carry on in business carry on the business of a banker or a trader yeah cause hey this is spiritual money right here man all right, this is the real riches, man. Cause really, a you're you're a banker. It says, but his citizens hated him and sent the message after him, saying, "We will not have this man to reign over us." And it came to pass that when he was returned, receiving the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money. That he might know how much every man have gained by trading. Then came the first, saying, Lord, thou pound have gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a very little, and, ha and have thou authority over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thou pound have gained five pounds. And I, and I said likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. But another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. And that's what brothers are, are doing, man. Keeping their pound laid up in a napkin. Not using it. Being being slothful. All right. For I feared thee, because thou art a hey, brothers not studying. Not not read not not reading the scriptures, man. Effing off, man. Tell him what man. Tell him what the hell Jake is doing, man. Jake got they damn finger in their ass, man. Effing effing off. For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man, thou takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. 
and he and he said unto him, Out of thy own mouth I will judge thee, that thou wicked servant, thou knowest that I was an austere man, taken up I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then, wherefore then thou, wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank, and that that at my coming I might have required my own with the usury then he said in, unto them that stood by take from him the pound and give it to him that have ten pounds all right hey you brothers hey you brothers said that the lord he gave you a measure or whatever gift he gave you if you're not using it he's going to take it from you and give it to another brother man all right That's why it's written. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have to get it. Uh, let let no man take thy crown, man. All right. He said. Um, he said, and he said unto them that stood by, take from him the pound, and give it to him that have ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, have he ten pounds? For I say unto you that every one which have sh shall shall so like shall be given and from him that have not even that have he have shall be taken from him bring but those that are my enemies which are not that I shall reign over them bring them hither and slay them before me and that's what's going to happen man alright the Lord is going he's going to slay you he's going to die over here in America man alright Cause, Cause, you refuse to do the work of the Lord, man. All right. Luke, uh, Salakia. I think it's Luke, uh, twelve. Bear with me, Akim. Uh, Luke 12 and 41. Luke 12 and 41. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us, or even or even to all? And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household, and to give them their portion of meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he comes, shall find so doing. Of a truth, I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he hath. And you know what? <laughs> the second, because the 17th child was just talking about this, the Lord making us rulers over all that he hath. Right, you can't do this simple thing for you. And he's talking about making you a ruler? You can tell me you can't do more, and I ain't just talking about this other brother. I'm talking about myself too, man. Every brother need to do more, man. Every brother. Do whatever you can do, man. If you don't got that fire fire under you, pray to pray to your Hawabashi Abishai to give you that fire back, man. But and if that servant say in his heart, My Lord, the lay of his coming, and shall bring to beat the men servants and maidens, Salakia, hold on. But blessed is the servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. I don't think I skipped too much, Akia. Okay, I just start back from 42. And the Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise steward whom the Lord shall make ruler over his household? Give them that portion of meat in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he have. 
But, and if that servant say in his heart, My Lord, delay of his coming, and shall begin to beat his manservants and maidens, and eat and drink and be drunken, the, lo the Lord of that servant will come in, Salakia, the Lord of that servant will come in a day, and he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him asunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that's what's going to happen. You think he does, that goes into a mini shoe saying my day, Lord, Lord, Lord. Have I not prophesied in, 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 in thy name? And he going to push you right along with the unbelievers, man. Because, uh, 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 to basically, hey, if you really believe in this, you're going to push this truth, man. Plain and simple, man. And the servants which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. And it's plain, man. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. All right? He going to be beaten with few stripes because he ain't know. But you being the truth, you're going to be beaten with many stripes. To whomsoever much is given of him, to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask more. All right? Let me get one more scripture. Uh, I got a thousand people calling me. Boss calling me. Everybody fucking calling me. All right. There was a point I wanted in here. It says, Therefore thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou judges. All right. But that's the point I, I wanted. Just really just that point. Thou art inexcusable. And when you go into that word, excuse, it says, Without defense or excuse, that which cannot be defended, inexcusable. All right. It says without defense or excuse, that which cannot be defended and inexcusable. All right. So with that, oh, oh when you go to the strong, it says in indefensible. Without excuse, inexcusable. So you don't, you don't have no excuses, man. Thou inexcusable, oh man. So with that, I'm gonna say all praises to you. How about she? I was shy. Double honors to the elders of GMS. Salutations to all the Akim out there that's pushing this truth, man. Shalom. What you want?